Hey everyone, welcome back for a new video. So as you can see in front of you today, we have Windows XP once again in this channel. And my only goal for this video is to make it usable in 2025. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine. So if you want to do the same on an actual hardware, you can do that yourself. Okay, so let's just get into it. Before I start anything, I would like to say that I wanted to install legacy updates as is it. It is a really big thing because it gets the option of Windows updates available once again and working once again. But for this video, it's not going to be necessary in order to daily drive Windows XP in 2025. In my desktop, I have this folder and I have five applications that I will be using to make this usable. The first thing I will start with is the browser. The browser I'm going to be using is MyPol 2930, the 64 edition. And why you might wonder, I will be installing this browser for one single reason. Because the Internet Explorer doesn't work anymore. It does work kind of, for example, if we go to google.com and then search for something, it will load, okay? It will load, but for example, if I selected a page that is intense, and full of coding languages, it's not gonna load it whatsoever. So that's why I'm gonna be installing MyPal. So what you're gonna do is basically go to the MyPal websites and download this exe. Once done, you can double click on it and it will start extracting. Once done, you can see that there is the MyPal setup. Click on next, next, install. And we can launch MyPal. Here you go. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's just close this screen over here. And this, by the way, is a really usable browser. You can do everything you will do on your normal hardware with Windows 11 or 10. You can browse anything you want. And if you're asking, use yes, YouTube does actually work. If you go to youtube.com, it will take some time, but that's fine. That's a virtual machine, so it's okay. I'll type, for example, Mercedes. And you can see that it does actually load YouTube with everything on it. Let's go, for example, to Google, www.google.com. Just like your regular browser search, for example, for Mercedes. And select the first website, for example. It will take some time for me because I'm using a virtual machine. But for you, it will be really quick. So... Um, yeah, we gotta wait a little bit. The reason why it's not loading so fast is because my hardware is so uh, low end. So that's the main reason, honestly. But it will work for you just fine, okay? That's what I want to say. So we're good with the browser. I will skip that and move to the next one, which is the drivers, okay? So one of the most important things that you will need to install once you actually install Windows XP on your machine as gets your drivers ready. And in order to do so, you cannot do that by going to Windows updates. So the way you can do it on actual hardware is by using, I don't know, snappy driver install, installer origin. And what it's do is basically lets you install all the drivers that are available for your machine. And I will show you how it works. So let's just extract that thing. Extract all. Yes. Browse my computer i don't know should i just keep it in my documents let's just extract that thing in my documents just like that finish and here is all the stuff you will see after extracting all your files so i will select i believe should i select yeah the 64 version because i'm using a 64 bit machine Appa. what wait did i select the wrong version this is not as wait unblock okay so as I said, wait, close that for a minute. The reason why that didn't work is basically my machine is considered as a 32-bit, but I'm using a 64. Really weird. But how it works is basically you select the language. In my case, I will select English and the theme. If you want to select another theme, I will just use this one, for example. And then the drivers will show up on your screen. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine, so I don't really have to do this. But for you, if you're using actual hardware, you need to use this application in order to get your drivers ready and installed on your system. So let's move on to the next one. And here we have 7-Zip. And you might wonder what 7-Zip is. You already, if you don't already know what 7-Zip is, it's the way to extract your files. So you can just extract them just fine with the Windows XP thingy. But we want to use something more, uh, you know, efficient and much better. So that's why we're going to be installing 7-Zip. And now it's installed. 
And if we come over here and come to all programs, you'll find that 7-Zip works just fine on this Windows XP machine. And you can also install WinRAR if you're asking, but I prefer 7-Zip, okay? Now let's move to the next thing, which is media playing. In order to play media, you can use the Windows thingy, but I prefer VLC since it's stacked with option and you can do multiple stuff using VLC, including taking screenshots and even recording your screen and much more. So let's just install VLC. Only run on, uh-huh. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. We can just use the browser that we used previously and search for a VLC version that is compatible with our PC or virtual machine in this case. So let's type this VLC. Should I search for 3? I'm, I'm confused at this point because I don't know if my machine is 32 or 64, but let's just search Windows XP EX. No, I misspelled, but that's fine. Maybe they. They will understand what I mean. Um, did this actually work or no? Okay, maybe it didn't. VLC player 64, no. Windows XP EXC, I don't know. It just doesn't matter at this point. You just gotta download VLC. Mm -hmm. For Windows, uh -huh, that download, see versions. I personally use Internet Archive a lot because it's really usable. Really, really usable. So, Let's just download a really old version of VLC or something that will work in our machine at least. Save, okay. Save it in desktop. Where is desktop? Over here. It's downloading. Okay, so VLC is downloaded. Let's just open the folder. What's, what's 7-zip? What does it even say? Program, browse, go to my computer, C, then program files. I will find 7-zip in here. Select this one and click OK, and here we go. So I will just take this and place it somewhere in C. Of course, this is not the right way to do it. You can get the AXE if you want, but in that case, I got it as a portable version. So that's why I will manually copy it to C over here. And let's see if it does work. So as you can see, this is VLC, one of the older versions, but you can get something um, more modern and more updated. In my case, I didn't really have the time for this video in order to like to find uh, the most modern. I just wanted a quick solution just to keep recording, but you can find something more modern that will work on your Windows XP machine. And if you don't like VLC, of course, you can use something else. But for me, I prefer VLC, as I said, because it's so stacked with options and you can do multiple stuff with it. All right, so let's move on to the last thing for this video, which is a PDF or whatever you want to call it. I prefer, again, not again. Oh my God. All right. Am I stupid or did I just like, I'm sure this is a 64 version. Like anything that I install is a 64, it doesn't want to run. Even though my machine is 64 edition. How does that work? I don't know, but let me just find a 32-bit of Sumatra PDF. And yeah, I forgot to type 32 bits. Okay, so I'm going to install the 32 bits version. For some reasons, I believe it's going to work. Why? Because this machine I'm using right now is kind of messed up. Double click or like open. Is this going to do anything? Is it doing anything in the first place? It's not even working. Windows. Nope. Ah, guys. I always mess it up. Like, there must be something going wrong in my videos. Okay, what if I take the 64-bit version? Is this gonna change anything? At least? None of this works. Well, interesting. It did work before. Before I started making this video. But now, since I'm making this video, it's not working. So, uh, really interesting. Let's try to find out an older version of Sumatra PDF Windows XP. I don't know at this point. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I can't download. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the websites they have uh, something for Windows. Oh, here you go. Let's see. Can I just get something older at this point? I will take this one over here and this time I will put it somewhere in my documents. I know it's a bit messed up, but it will work. Let's launch this. Run. And here you go. Finally, it did work. Install Sumatra PDF. Just like this. No. What? What am I even doing? Is this working? Oh, that's the install. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. 
Her sumo to the PDF, guys. This video got me mad a little bit. Because every time I plan to make a video, I make sure to try things in the background before showing it to you guys. And when I try to do stuff, they did work. But now since I started recording, it didn't work. And here we go, guys. So you got everything you will need in your machine. You got browser, PDF reader, you got media player, and also you got uh, 7-zip, which is to extract your files and stuff. But anyways, guys, this was it for this video. If I did forget anything, let me know in the comments. But if this video was actually helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And see you in the next one.